Right guys, we're down at the uh, Titleist National Fitting Centre at St Ives Golf Club, also known as Hearts, Hertz? St Ives Golf Club Hunts. St, St Ives Golf Club Hunts at the Titleist National Fitting Centre. Nice mouthful for me there to start the video. <laughs> now here on the putting green to test out the new uh, Titleist putters, but also to actually go through a bit of a putting fitting and a bit of a putting education basically with what can, should be expected from the Scotty Camerons because it is a name which is synonymous with great putting and great putters and the great quality product. And I know you guys have been asking quite a lot for me to actually test these products out. So this is what we're going to do. Now here with Rich. Rich, you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, my name is Richard Temple. I look after the Titleist Golf Club products and fit in line. And I'll help Peter out today, hopefully. He's going to try and try and help me out. And we've got about a 20 foot put here, guys. Um, just pretty much up the hill, a little bit of a, a left to right. Greens are a little bit slow, but they're not too bad. They're not too bad. Kind of help me out, if anything, really. Hopefully so, anyway. Yeah, hopefully. Right, so, got the new putter here as well. Now, stay tuned to the channel because there will be more individual tests coming out of this new X5 putter, which is out on Friday. Mm -hmm. So it'll be tomorrow, if this is uploaded tomorrow or Thursday, Friday. You'll be able to figure it out from the days, but these will probably be out now by the time you actually watch this putter. So, Richard, take me through okay. my putting education. Yeah, okay, what we're trying to do is really ascertain the right putter for you. Okay. Uh, obviously within the Scotty Cameron line we have a, an awful lot of putters to choose from and it's very difficult for people to know which is the right one for them. Um, there are many different elements to it. The shape of the putter, the stroke that the putter is going to create, the type of arc that the putter is going to create and also the length and those are the key elements of, of what we're trying to help people find the right putter for them. So an effective custom fitting for yeah, the putter, a, which, which is something not a lot of people go through. It's an education so. guide. This, this isn't specifically a fitting. This is more of an education process. There are a few things that the world's best players all have in common. And the most obvious ones are that they get into the right length of putter, which sets their eyes in the right place for them, just mm -hmm. slightly inside of the ball. Typically, in the past, teachers have probably tried to say to you, you want to get your eyes right over the ball itself. Our philosophy, what we see with the best players in the world as they come through the camera and studio, is that they all have their eyes slightly inside mm -hmm. of, of the ball itself. So from that perspective, we're trying to find the right length for them to get their eyes into the right place. Okay. Something that's a little bit too long for them, their eyes will be too much on the inside something that's a little bit too short, their eyes too will probably get outside of the yeah. line. So first off, it's trying to find the right length for them. So that's part one of it. Giving them a 20 foot putt like we are here, you can see enough of the stroke to be able to gauge the type of shape that they've got to their stroke. Obviously every putter mm -hmm. within our line has lie angle to it, 70 de uh, degrees of lie angle. You're not able to stand like a croquet um, style where you might be at 90 degrees to it and be able to hit it straight back straight through Fun. so because of that a putter has a natural arc to yeah. its stroke and what we're trying to do here is to, to help or reduce the amount of arc that the player has some people will need more some people will need less yeah. again everything we see with the best players as they come through the studio is that they all have the same thing in common and for about a four and a half five inch uh, element right around impact mm -hmm. their putter head is absolutely square to the line of the, the putt they're trying to hit yeah beyond which, that they've which, got some art yeah which is very important because i mean most and i'm sure you guys have had a putting lesson before and a lot of lessons you've seen online it's very much been kind of taught that it is kind of straight back straight through but because of the way you set up to the ball because of the body shape unless you actively move the hands and the arms away from the body you are going to have that slight arc but through that impact if that putter is traveling as close to that down the target line as possible, yep. you're going to hit the most kind of consistent putts. So what we're going to do is have you hit a few putts from about 20 feet. I'm going to stand behind you and have a look at the way you address the putter and, and see where the, make sure that your eyes are in, in good shape. I think here we've got a 34 inch, is that? Indeed we have. Yeah, we have a 34 inch Futura X5. So no. we can get a feel for how you look standing over the ball. Now I was, uh, I was begging Richard for a uh, three foot putt up the hill, but he soon uh, batted me back from that. He said, no, no, we need to get the 20. Actually, oh, damn it. <sighs> I was going to wrap it up. I was going to wrap it up very, very quickly there. I <laughs> uh, can only go downhill from here. So we've seen you hit a couple of putts. I think the good thing from my perspective, and obviously as a good golfer, I would expect to probably see this, is that your eyes are in pretty good position just slightly inside of the ball, which is enabling you to get into a nice comfortable posture and that should help you get the, the right stroke on it. If you've got somebody who's, who's clearly standing too close to it, mm -hmm. too far away from it, that will affect the way that the, the stroke 
actually goes through the ball, the, the path of the putter will, will perhaps not work to its, its best effect. Yeah. So from the perspective of you, your eyes are in good position, we can get a good feel for, for the way that, that your stroke is going. And I can see it clearly, you've got a nice little inside square inside. Uh, the question then from a player perspective is, do you need more of that or do you need less of it? And yeah. you know, we have putters that have uh, various different toe flows, which we can show you. We go from a maximum toe flow right through to, to face balance. Uh, that will create a different path for each player. If you've got somebody who needs a lot of arc and they use something that's very face balanced, that perhaps won't necessarily work well for them. Yeah, they'll start to kind of work against each other. So some kind of different profiles of putter should be kind of coming up on screen at the moment as well. And just to you know, hop back to what Richard was just saying there about the actual um, setup over the ball. And this is something you do see in a lot of putters, just focusing on the actual arc and the actual straight back, straight through motion, as we just discussed. Don't actually pay much attention to the posture, their height and their actual body positions before they even hit the putt and it is very very important now I actually quite like the shape mm -hmm. of a mallet headed putter and this is a face balance putter as well so from what you've seen of my stroke would you say that is okay it looks pretty good looks pretty good I think what we could probably do Peter just to show the audience is, is do the two different extremes we can Absolutely. give something with maximum toe flow which is the, the Newport 2.5 we've got there that's so if you can the way to see toe flow is just to, to balance the putter at the centre point and just see the way the toe hangs. This is basically pointing down towards the ground, that's what we would call maximum toe flow. A face balance putter like the X5 will point towards the sky. So you can see that the dramatic differences between the way those two putters sit and that's going to affect yeah. the way you stroke it. Absolutely. So this one will help promote more of an arc to your stroke, um, which is good for some people, less good for others. Absolutely. Because this um, it's one of those um, strange things, because I actually I like the look. I mean, this is a classic kind of Newport putter. You, I'm sure you guys watching have all kind of seen one. I like the shape and I like the design, but ever since I was an amateur, I've never quite been able to get used to the feeling. And that is what I tend to feel. I was aiming that slightly left of the target there, but I always tend to feel that the club face is struggling to actually rotate into a square position at impact. I really have to try and hold it into that position. It doesn't quite flow as smoothly as a mallet for me. Yeah, same again. One of the great things about this whole education process that we go through is that when you've got a putter in your hands that isn't really suited to you, it's as similar to what we do with a, as a custom fitting, with a driver fitting for instance, you'll see the misses become exaggerated. Mm -hmm. As you get into a putter that works better for you, you'll tend to tighten up those misses. You'll probably miss them all in a relatively small cluster. Mm -hmm. With a putter that doesn't necessarily work for you in terms of shape, in terms of length, in terms of toe flow, those misses will probably be fairly scattered. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, that's that's the key for us with that. Right. But I think you, you, you really picked on one of the key elements of, of a putter education thing, which is as much as we can focus on length and we can focus on toe flow, mm -hmm. you've got to have the putter that looks good to your eye. If it yeah, doesn't absolutely. meet your desires in, in shape, then it's not going to work for you. So, yeah. you know, that's why we have tend to have different toe flows within the different head shapes so that we can try and find the right shape and the right toe flow for each individual player. Yeah. So it's getting down to that very kind of the nitty gritty it's, parts it's of the actual preference. Yeah. We can educate the guy to understand how a different putter is going to work better for you. But if you don't like the way that looks, the Futura X is an obvious one. It's a very high MOI product. It doesn't have the traditional looks of a, of a new port. Yeah but it might well benefit a lot of players. So it's then a question of, of balance of, of what, what do you like? Do you prefer the, the way the putter looks or do you prefer yeah. the way it's, it's actually benefiting in your game? So, you know, a lot of the, the, the choices are, are very subjective down to the About kind of that, the education, getting kind of fit for it, making sure that it suits your stroke. Yeah. But if you're stroking it well, but you just don't like the look of it, obviously the confidence is going to suffer. Yeah. You're not going to quite have the same, yeah, that same confidence over those puts that you could do with maybe another one, which may be quite not perfect for your stroke, but confidence is a, yeah. is a massive, massive thing. So. And, and all the guys that we have out working with players, and Henry who works on the European Tour is doing this with the Tour's best players week in, week out, it's just trying to, to get them into the, the right basics. Um, the most obvious thing that we see with consumers, with average players, is they might have good posture within their long game, but suddenly they put the putter in their hands and that all goes out the window. Mm -hmm. um, what we want, and again what you see with the best players, is they're all in an athletic position, that gets their eyes in the right place, 
we want them to do that. We want them to almost imagine they've got a nine iron in their hand and how they would address a nine mm -hmm. iron. That gets them into a pretty good posture. From there, you've got a chance of, of getting the right length of putter and, and ultimately choosing the right type of putter for the, the shape of stroke that they've got. Yeah. Fantastic. Oh, really, really good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I enjoyed that. I hope that that kind of shed some light on a little bit more of an area of the game which isn't really focused on too much as far as suiting an actual putter for your stroke. Getting custom fit for the longer shots and the drivers and the hybrids, the fairway was the irons, that's becoming more and more common, but putting is still a little bit underappreciated as far as the education side and as far as the fitting side as well. So if you do have a chance to kind of come down here to the National Fitting Centre, or you can get fit to the a reputable pro who you've got a, heard a good reputation about, then absolutely fantastic. Make sure you go do it. So Richard, thank you very, very much for that. Pleasure. So guys, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, follow me Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram as well. Like the video, share it around, and stay tuned to the channel because we're going to do some extensive testing down here as well about the new 915 products from Titleist, Wedges, loads and loads of stuff to come. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon.